Okay, so today we have, we made some almond milk earlier, and this is the leftover pulp right here, and um, we were looking up stuff that you could do with the pulp. And so we, we found, found a almond pulp recipe, so you're going to use the pulp from the almonds, one large banana, two or three tablespoons of sweetener, um, two tablespoons of chopped hazelnut, and two tablespoons of dried coconut, one teaspoon of cinnamon, mix it all together, mash the banana, mix it all together, <laughs> then you're going to spread the mixture into a cookie sheet, cookie shape, sorry, on a dehydrator sheet and dehydrate it for three hours. Flip and dehydrate for nine more hours. You can use a very low setting in your oven to achieve the dehydration without having to buy those very expensive machines. We are anti-capitalism here at the O'Shea Tour Institute. Okay, now we are going to the second step of our science today. And the shabby is going to be, um, I'm going to be making some deodorant. And the ingredients are is cornstarch, baking soda, and coconut oil and um, whatever oil, scented oil that you want to use. So let me uh, It's a fourth of a cup of baking soda. This is being overly dramatic with the camera. <laughs> The scent that we're going to use for the deodorant being very foggy and refusing to focus, so I'm just going to tell you. Obviously, by the picture of oranges, you're probably guessing that it is an orange scent, and you are correct. It is the orange <laughs> oil that we have. It smells exactly like oranges, made though it is not Nile edible. Company. It is made by the Now Company. Completely natural and extremely affordable. Mm -hmm. We did pick ours up at Whole Foods this time. You can also get it at Savananda here in Atlanta. I greatly prefer Savananda. And you can get it online at the Now Company's website. Extremely affordable. I also use it to make my hair oil. And it smells really good. The second thing is a fourth of a cup of cornstarch. It's kind of ridiculous, but I guess it's not. Okay. 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 Okay.
Um, I think I'm going to make this round for one. I'm going to force be looking at this because it's so stupid. There is coconut oil in there. Don't put your hand over it. There's coconut oil. That's two tablespoons. Would you grab two? We had two tablespoons in here, which is very cool. Don't get the paper. Okay. Oh, yeah. Half thing to go on it. Is that a that is. Da 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 Nubia. No. I'll show it to you here. Don't blow it because it's going to fuck it up. Okay, well, Sasha's getting the other coconut oil. Got two. We need three more. Would you run your finger over the laptop? It went black. Uh oh. Okay. So Alright, so I'm just going to do this one. Alright. So. You can like get those straight. Yeah. Jelly, me when you sit down. You just need three, three more of these. Scraping. So we're scraping and hoping because we didn't. And hoping. Plan that. We yeah, we didn't. This was kind of out of the blue. Okay, so that's that's, that's probably one. another. So we need two more of that two one. Mommy has got some in her. Hey, where's that little blue thing? Mommy's face, yeah? No, I need the blue Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, right. Dude, I can't eat. Oh, okay. It's not only for spanking. Okay. It's truth for tomorrow. So, See, what are you going to do? Hey, what are you going to do? Okay. So I think you might need the blue one in there. Scraping this out and putting right. it in here to see how much it is that we're scraping out. So, so far we have three in here, so we need two more. And this isn't all we have. We do have another one. Okay. So, we're going to get for the rest of this, and then we have that blue one. So, I'm going to get the rest of this, and then we're going to put the blue one in there. That should be... This is... How many more do we need? Um, we just need one more, I think. Is that four, Shabby? Uh, we need five. Yeah. No, so how many have we put in? Four, yes. yes. Okay, just put it in here. Alright, so Kamari's gonna... No, no, no. In, here. in the spoon. Okay. Do I need to run some more? Hmm. Just a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's five. All right. Okay. Spatula to get this. Yeah, well, I just took over. I don't mind. I mean, as long as Shabby doesn't mind. Now we're supposed to add a couple of drops of our favorite scent. So I think. You think they're really good? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, are you supposed Ow. to mix it first or no, we're on Stop. Okay. Okay. Okay, how many? Just four? I think. Probably three and then see okay. if it's it has a strong enough smell. Okay, that one one, two, three. So we added the oil in, you can see the little yellow. Like eggs. Yeah, it looks like eggs. Here's and my oh. Can I show? Okay. Sit down. Well, you've already had your time to mix. It's already hasn't gotten to mix. Christmas. Oh, Nubia has gotten into the coconut oil. She's made a facial moisturizer. Very Love, nice. Lovely, as always. Rub it in. Sit down and rub it into your little face. Oh, well, this is what we got. I want to warm this up. It's supposed to become a paste. So it looks like we're achieving that. Little mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a pound of yam. Or a chocolate. Or like white. Anything like that. It could be white chocolate. If you, if you melted it down Ooh. and then you kind of let it and then let it sit again. It could be. Please get just my eyes in this. Uh, 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 uh,
It's all edible, actually. Okay, we should add some this. more of the orange stuff because it's smelling. I want that. I want that. Okay, it's smelling it? extremely yeah, coconutty. It we're going to add some more oil. Three drops was not enough. So, why don't we add three more? We're going to add three more. One, two, three. Four. That, that wasn't big. Four. Okay. And five. Five. Okay. We added five. Actually, we added four. Because the first two worked, and then the third one didn't work, then I added another one. So, it seems like we added five, but we really only added four. We put an extra one in there for good luck. No, oh, no, you see how orangey it is. It's not very really orangey at all. Kind of pasty. Oh! <laughs> it's still <laughs> coconut oily though. Like very coconut oily. No, it's actually very, very oily. Not very oily at all. I can smell both. Oh, okay. I think it eats more oily, so that's just personal. I mean, I don't want to make it overly oily. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to add two more. Two more aren't gonna make a difference. If you want more, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can get <laughs> That was I don't know how many that was. Get loose with it. That's called getting loose with it. Get loose. Get it loose. Okay, now I can smell. Now it smells orangey. Yeah, that smells really good. So now we officially have Smell Okay, now sit down and be quiet. I have to share something with our audience. I can't hold you. I need Look. you to sit down and be quiet. You smile for the camera? Sit down and be quiet. <coughs> okay. So, while the child is stirring, she has removed her skeleton. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> while the child is stirring, we're going to share some of the dangerous chemicals. Okay, Kamari and Nubia, you can go to your room so that I can finish this. Some of the dangerous chemicals. Very commonly thick. found in regular deodorants and antiperspirants. Aluminum, this blocks the sweat gland, and aluminum compounds may be absorbed by the skin and cause changes in estrogen. So aluminum has been based, has been um, cited as a risk, fa risk, risk factor in the development of breast cancer. Okay? Um, parabens. These are a class of artificial preservatives and they are also being investigated in, as for their possible role in breast cancer. Parabens mimic the activity of estrogen and so we know when we have too much estrogen in the body this um, leads to the body producing things that it doesn't need to produce and this causes, can cause breast cancer as well as um, other cancers within women especially, but within all people. Propylene glycol. This is a humectant, which means it um, holds moisture. Keeps substances from drying out. It, and propylene glycol, we should say, was originally developed as an antifreeze. It is a neurotoxin. Anything neuro means what, ladies? Your brain. Your brain. So a neurotoxin means that it affects your, your brain. brain. And it also can cause, in addition to affecting your brain, it can cause contact dermatitis, which is something like eczema, kidney damage, and liver damage. Workers, um, people who work with this, are urged to avoid skin contact as it may cause eye and skin irritation and gastrointestinal irritation and discomfort, nausea, headache, vomiting, and central nervous depression. TEA and DEA. Triethanolamine and diethanolamine. These are used with fatty acids to convert acid to salt and they become the basis for a cleanser. These are both toxic if, if absorbed into the body over a long period of time. DEA causes liver and kidney damage and TEA causes several allergic reactions. They are already restricted in Europe because they are known to be carcinogens, cancer causing. Triclosan antimicrobial chemical used to kill bacteria. It is a skin irritant, causes contact dermatitis. It also may disrupt thyroid function and many other critical hormone systems. The American Medical Association recommends that these products not be used in the home. 
as they may also encourage bacterial resistance to antibiotics that allow resistant strains to flourish. FDNC colors, these are made from coal tar derivatives and have been known to be carcinogenic, often cause allergic skin reactions. Talc is a soft mineral and is classified as a carcinogen. It contains asbestos fibers. So all of these things are in regular deodorant and antiperspirant. So even if you don't buy the antiperspirant, these chemicals are in both. So whether you buy deodorant or antiperspirant, if it has any of those chemicals in it, it can cause those reactions within your body. So this is why we've taken the time today to go and make our own. We were lucky to um, have the um, recipe for our natural deodorant shared with us on LiveStrong.com. So that's where our recipe comes from. So if you don't catch it, then you can go to this website and make some up yourself. So this is our natural coconut oil and orange deodorant. We're excited about it. I personally had just been using nothing. The girls being teenagers have been using just regular antiperspirant which scares me because another thing is my mother died from Alzheimer's and that aluminum has been linked with Alzheimer's as well. So I was excited to have this on my Facebook page this morning and if I could remember who posted it I would big you up. But sorry I can't remember which one of my loyal friends posted it. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator. This is what's recommended to harden it. We're going to pour it. Shabby's going to pour it into this container. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know what she did with the top. I think it's in the sink. It took me a moment to find it. I think it's in the sink. I put it in the sink. I didn't know that was the top. It was just using that one. So we're going to scrape it into this container. I think this will be a good container for it to harden. Mm -hmm. And the deodorant needs to be re refrigerated when it's not in use. And I think that's probably just to keep it nice and calm. It got eat. Now you could eat it. All the ingredients are edible. But we're not going to eat this one today. Okay? Bye. Do you need to go? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can I put my mother's chicken in the room? Yes. So there we go. So there we are. Thank you for joining us today here at the O'Shea Tour Institute Homeschool Division, also known as the Rumale Amoye Academy. We thank you for joining us. Kamari is about to move on into his personalized math studies with his chess and checkers game. And we are about to move on into completing our laundry. Nubia too is going to participate in chess and checkers. And just wanted to share with you all one of our wall posters, Nuku Nuku. I am that I am. I am the shrine. I am the temple. Okay, this is Ola Omi signing off. Peace.